Welcome to Yoga Nidra, the art of conscious relaxation. I invite you to recline and find a very, very comfortable, easy way to relax the body. Lying on the back, if that's comfortable for you. Lying on the side, if that's comfortable for you. And you can always do this practice from a seated posture, wherever you feel best. So as we settle in to our yoga nidra, I wanna talk about, or I wanna remind you that the word nidra does mean sleep. But the idea behind this practice is not necessarily to sleep. And one thing I love about yoga nidra is cultivating the ability to hover in this in-between state. And in this in-between state, um, between waking and sleeping, sometimes we can discover really interesting things about ourselves, about other layers of ourselves. And we might even receive some messages, right, from our higher selves and we might have um, interesting visual visuals come to us in this state. So it's sort of like that, that time when you're drifting off. We want to stay in that time and see if we can play with that limitless inner landscape that is the mind space. So let's begin. Thanking you so much for joining me in whatever state of being you're in. You might be experiencing fatigue today or discomfort in the body. You might be feeling energetic or you might have a busy mind. All of that is okay. I'm glad you showed up to take care of yourself. And some of us might be joining as a caregiver. And for you, I say thank you for coming to fill up your well. So getting any wiggles or squiggles out of the body, I'd like to invite you to take one last stretch. You might stretch the arms overhead. You might bend the knees and swish the knees from side to side. You might open the mouth and stretch the jaw, lick the lips, take that last little sip of water. And then begin to sink into the support that you've set up below you and take up all the space that you need today for this next 25 minutes. Trying to stay alert and aware and just coming back to the sound of my voice if you lose the thread. So beginning to just notice the body in space Slowly coming into the body. And beginning to notice the breath. Giving yourself permission to let go and be supported right now. Moving your attention to the sensation of breathing, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth. Taking a few clearing, cleansing breaths. Easy breath in. Easy breath out. Feeling the chest rise, the chest fall. Seeing if you can bring your breath into the belly, noticing the belly rising and falling. Just becoming a curious observer of your own breath 
following the thread of the breath in and out. Noticing the body moving with the breath. Noticing what it feels like for you to breathe in this moment. Knowing you can always come back your awareness, you can always bring your awareness back to the breath at any time. As we now begin to shift our awareness to that space at the center of the eyebrows with eyes softly closed or gazing downward, turning your inner gaze to that mind space that room in your mind that extends out infinitely in all directions. Just coming into the mind space and observing anything that you notice there. There might be absolutely nothing happening in the mind space today and that's fine. There could be a lot of words, there might be images or colors, just noticing what's happening in your mind and observing this space, again, the center of the eyebrows, behind that, chitakash, it's called, mind space. I like to think of it as my mental movie screen. And just following any movement or color there and observing. And now I'd like you to simply observe, to scan this phase of life that you're in right now. Your day to day, your week to week, what it's like to be you right now observing and scanning this phase of life and maybe finding one thing, one small or large thing that you would like to improve or get a little bit of support for. We're going to turn this into your intention or sankalpa. So for example, if something in your life right now, you're feeling lonely lately, you want to change that, your intention might be simply, I am connected or I am loved. We're looking to create a really short, positive, present tense phrase. Another example, if you experience a lot of fear I'm, I would phrase it, I am brave. And maybe I'm feeling really fatigued and I'd like to feel mo more energy. In the present tense, I am energized. So whatever feels right to you in this moment, something you might need some help with, repeating your intention internally three times, letting those words ring out internally in that mind space and fade into the mind space. That's very good. Now we'll begin to move the mind around the body. It's like a body scan. As I say a body part, what I'd like you to do is just bring your awareness to that one part of the body. Bring all of your awareness there. Moving your mind and your mind only to the right hand, starting with the right thumb. Right second finger, third finger, fourth finger, 
and the fifth finger on the right hand. Feeling all of the fingers on the right hand. The back of the right hand and the palm on the right hand. Seeing if you can fill your entire right hand with your awareness. Releasing effort. Moving the mind over now to the left hand, the left thumb. Left second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. And the fifth finger on the left hand. All of the fingers on the left hand. The back of the left hand. And the center of the palm. Filling the entire left hand with your awareness and releasing effort. Let's move the mind to both wrists. Looking within both wrists. Both forearms. Moving up, moving the mind only to the elbows the upper arms and the shoulders, the tops of the shoulders, the front of the shoulders and the back of the shoulders. And now fill the entire right arm from the shoulder down to the fingertip with your awareness. The entire right arm is relaxing, doing nothing. Moving your mind to the left arm from the shoulder to the fingertips. The entire left arm is doing nothing, letting go. Feeling the heaviness in both arms. As we travel the awareness all the way down to the right big toe. Moving the mind to the right big toe. The right second toe. Third toe fourth toe, and the pinky on the right foot. All of the toes on the right foot. The sole of the right foot, and the top of the right foot. Filling the entire right foot with your awareness. Letting the foot just rest. As you move your mind over to the left big toe. Left second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe and the pinky on the left foot. All toes on the left foot. The sole of the left foot. The top of the left foot. Filling the entire left foot with your awareness and letting the foot just rest. Both feet just resting. As we move the awareness to both ankles, looking within both ankles, 
both shins and calves, both knees, both thighs, moving the mind to both hips, the front sides and back of both hips. And now filling up the entire right leg from hip down to the toes with your awareness. The entire right leg filled with your awareness, resting, relaxing. Moving the mind to the entire left leg from the hip down to the toes, filling the entire left leg with your awareness, the entire left leg resting, relaxing, letting go. Allowing both legs to completely let go. Moving the awareness now to the belly. The belly softening, dropping towards the floor on the exhales. Moving the mind to the lower back. the middle back and the upper back, the shoulder blades. Feeling the entire length of the spine from the base of the skull all the way down to the tailbone. Allowing this too, to be filled with awareness and to rest and do nothing. Gently sliding the awareness to the rib cage, nestled within the rib cage, the lungs, up to the sternum, the chest, and the heart. Feeling the entire front torso of the body expand and relax. Expand and relax. As we move the mind to the throat, softening the lower jaw the upper jaw and both lips, the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, eyebrows, all of the muscles surrounding the eyes and the eyeballs resting in their sockets, the forehead and the temples, allowing all of the muscles in the face to smooth out, draining of any expression. Moving the mind to the top of the head, the back of the head, both ears, everything in between the ears, and allowing the base of the skull to rest on the earth. 
as we now move the mind to the entire body, the entire body from head to fingertips to toes, relaxed and resting. And with the entire body relaxing and resting, we can now move into the mind space once again and be observant and curious about what we find when we turn the inner gaze to that space at the center of the eyebrows. Gazing there now without strain and noticing what is playing out in your mind space. Are there any predominant colors? Is there movement there? Is there nothing there? Just being curious, being an observer. And now, using the creativity of the mind, I will ask you to picture yourself walking along a trail in the wilderness, smelling these fresh scents of pine and sage that have been maybe baking in the sun. walking along into a forest surrounded by pine and cedar trees. Picture yourself easily walking down this trail and noticing that the trail is descending down into a river valley. Noticing what you can see around you in this river valley Maybe you can hear the sound of birds or the sound of wind in the leaves on the willows and live oak trees. And as you walk along, you begin to notice clouds forming in the sky overhead. Moody sky is brewing as you walk along You see in the distance a large rock formation rising up. Beautiful terracotta earthen color. Beautiful sculptural rock formation. And as you gaze in wonder and notice a waterfall. And as you're Observing the flow of water, it begins to rain and it begins to storm. Just noticing the sounds of nature around you in this beautiful moment that was meant just for you to experience. As you turn to one side, you notice the entrance of a cave and seeking shelter to dry off from the storm, you enter the cave. Picture yourself entering this cave, leaving the sheets of rain behind you. Entering the cave and in the distance, you can see a small light. Going towards that light in the cave. As you get closer, you might notice the color of the cave all around you is a pink. It might be a pink color. And coming closer to the light, you see that it is a fire that someone has made and there is a blanket laying next to it, but there is no one else there but you in this great big cave. And as you come to the light of the fire, you explore the walls of the cave 
and realize that the entire interior of this cave is made of rose quartz crystal, a beautiful rosy pale pink, translucent in the flickering flame. And as you touch the wall of rose quartz, you can feel the warmth of the fire in the stone and the rose quartz has a soft yielding quality to it. This is the stone of unconditional love and compassion. So just being in this environment, you can feel a calm washing over you. And you decide to sit on the blanket and take the moment in. Surrounded by this embrace of the rose quartz. Hearing the echo of the rain outside and the crackle of the fire, you start to get very relaxed in this space and you let yourself rest even deeper. Drinking in the nourishment of an entire night's rest in this one moment surrounded by the stone of compassion. And as you Awake yourself in the cave. You notice there is someone sitting next to you now. And this person is your higher self. Visualize a version of yourself in your purest form. Sitting right next to you, there with you in every moment. And see if you can listen closely for the message that your higher self would like to deliver you today. A message you can take into your everyday life with you. And you can visualize this higher self handing you a chunk of the rose quartz also to take with you to remember your cave visit by and the message your higher self would like you to have today. And holding this chunk of rose quartz in the hand and feeling its soft yielding quality and its warmth, it's unconditional love. So we take this with us too into the rest of today. As you're ready, you can begin to leave the cave behind in your mind space and come back right to this center of the eyebrows once again, our chitakash. And just noticing what's there, very briefly noticing if there are any other images your mind would like you to see. And then into this very fertile bed, we'll plant the seed of intention once more. The same intention that you set for yourself at the beginning of our session repeating that same sankalpa or intention three times with confidence that it is already manifested. Very good. And now we'll begin to come back very slowly into the body. See if you can find the edges of the body that touch 
the support below. And noticing that support underneath the body. And noticing the breath entering into the body, filling up the whole body with nourishment and vitality. Taking a few clearing, cleansing breaths as we travel out of our yoga nidra space into the external environment, you can notice the sounds around you, both near and far. Beginning to travel out of the yoga nidra space and into the body, into the room around you. You could even begin to bring some small movements into the body, such as licking the lips or swallowing or turning the head from side to side. Maybe wiggling the fingers and toes, stretching the arms overhead, stretching through the fingertips, stretching through the heels. And if it's something that would feel comfortable to you, you could roll to one side and Give yourself a little extra hug today. Rolling on the side, giving yourself a hug. Of course, you know you can stay here resting as long as you like. But if you're ready to, you can come up to sit slowly and carefully. And I will thank you so much for your practice today. May you be safe, may you be healthy, may you be happy, and may you live with ease as you take this relaxation into the rest of your day. Namaste.